Hi there and welcome back. Uh, this is the second part in these uh, mini little uh, journals. So I've done the sewing in of the papers a little bit different on each one. So this one I've just done it normal and you know the way that we do it <clears throat> and put an eyelet there. Then I've just put some lace down there. Um, sewing it in like so and then that just wraps around and ties off there this one I've gone the opposite way so instead of the strings being inside they're outside and then I've just <coughs> wrapped um, this around now I've done this before on camera but I will do it in tomorrow's when we do some little paper bag uh, journals and I've obviously done this uh, with string sewn it in so um, I think we put the pockets in last time so that's pockets done and we've got a bit of decoration at the back so I just want to um, do something down here and I've got these like long ticket pieces and these was from uh, your creative studio box and I've got some Edith Holden um, writing this is uh, the index page so I've already inked around things because we had a long video earlier on um, and we've still got the two big journal cards in in each uh, book to do and the front so I wanted to save um, a little bit of time so I've just popped that down <clears throat> and then I'm going to put this ticket piece over the top middle-ish and I've got this uh, sticker botanical sticker this is from Aliexpress come on nearly add it got it got it <laughs> I've got it I just need to get it uh. oh dear me I might have to get up and pause the video ah Whoa. Thank goodness for that. Right, so we shall pop this down here, like so, and then I've just got a little um, stamp, and I'm just going to pop that down there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of uh, decoration there so we'll go on uh, to do a, the front I've got this uh, piece which was uh, from a paper pad that I had it was called uh, Nature's Gallery um, I think it was a dovecut um, paper pad um, it is discontinued now and that's one of the pieces from the stamp area forest so they're going to be um, on the fronts and I've got these edges which um, Violet did for me and I've just inked them so I thought perhaps we can put them somewhere so we'll layer um, this this up 
I've printed a couple more of the um, kit pages out and I'm using a kit by uh, Victoria Designs. If you watched the video, I think it was on Friday, um, I did a bit of a, you know, rundown to what I'm, what I'm using. I don't know if to go with, um, I've got a piece of cream card, I don't know what that cream, yeah, I like that. I don't. <laughs> I do and I don't. Um, oh, come on. I'm going to have to go for one of these because I do want to um, back it. I'll do it with this one. So I don't know if I want to uh, rip it, which I'm going to. So let's just do top and side might back the picture um, onto some tissue first and then put it onto there and then maybe get one of these uh, down one of the sides this on here okay. down there and down there I mean you know that's way too big but <clears throat> it's just a, a starting starting block on the back and then we'll put this on and hope to squidge it a bit. And that's too much because I've, ah, I've not got any on that side. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just going to rip this down a little bit. So maybe could have this going down this side. So we go to that and to that. Let's just ink that. Yep, so I'll put some glue down this side. like that. I'm hoping um, this will fit. It's not too too big. Okay, so if I go that. I don't want to cover uh, the lace, so that's better. Some, uh, yeah, that's nice. So I just want to ink around uh, there, which I'll do now. I'm using gathered twigs for um, the forest woodland um, projects. 
if you look in the description i have put all the links to all the other playlists that i've got um of woodlands and um woodlands and <laughs> um, i think i've got four um playlists because it is one of my favorite things so there's plenty of um, embellishments and ephemera and you know big bigger projects so you might want to take a look uh, down there especially if you're uh, new to me you know you say things like oh you've seen me do that before and you know not not everybody um, has that one there because that's got no lace so that can go at the edge so let me let me do that so quite a simple um, topper lovely so that's that's the front of um that one i don't know if i want anything down there or not mm. not really thought about it until until just then right so we've got this one that's um probably go Okay, that's, um, I have inked this piece of already. I'm gonna say I did prepare <coughs> uh, what what I could. that's not not too bad at all think around here Thank you. 
that. And so we'll pop that there. like them okay so that is hope i've not put that on upside down no <laughs> oh dear uh, got me thinking so that's uh the front and then um i want to do uh the journal cards so i have got some book pages i backed them uh just with random i've got a folder what's you know, got bits of tea dyed and bits of plain digital and that kind of thing. Now, I did wonder about in each one, perhaps um, put some some of the book page in, which I think would be nice as one of the um, journal cards. So, yeah, that would be nice. So, I'm going to rip this down. And that away. Yeah, that'll be fine. So I'm going to cover um, this and then just place it, place it on. So I'll do one for for each, and then we'll do a collage. Ooh, one for the other pocket. is out um, oh, one of the Bannon Field uh, books. I have done a flip through on my channel and it's in the Lazy Sunday uh, playlist. So that's that one. And then the next one, I think again I'll start at the top. Yep. So let's go around with the glue. Good way of using book pages up and obviously it's um it's a quick way to make a journal card up as well and it's you know no bulk. I'll throw them thin bits, but I'm going to put that in my collage. Well, in the scraps, which ends up being collage. Yeah, 
nice I like those so that's one in each and then we've got <coughs> these and that's uh, out of a book so I thought that one looked nice on there and then that's out of a book as well so let's have a look at some papers so what have we got what's already um, you know ripped ripped up oh that's um, from one of those book pages okay I think that's all the scrappy bits so far so I've not really got <coughs> a long piece apart from from this I might have to get some book page out so that can definitely go down the edge I'm not bothered about um, you know covering the whole thing I don't mind the green coming through because obviously we're Working with green. Don't know about popping all that down because it's been popping about in my scraps for a while. I'm not keen on that tree <coughs> popping out on the side of the ferns. Yeah, and then maybe some some brown. So I'm going to pop this down because otherwise it's just going to end up getting screwed up and ripped and what have you. some brown now <clears throat> this is from a uh, future um digital of of mine and uh Nene from collage <coughs> type it will be out in october so i think i'll have that there like so be nice to have a bit of brown so let's put this on the back of there. Right, I don't think I've inked around this. I'm not sure what book um, the owl's out of. Now, 
probably put a word on this one. Let's do this one. So we might as well use the rest of the, the brown. So I think I'll have that going down there. And then we want some green. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So, if I glue down that a bit, like so. Anything else or not? ink around the fern okay I think this one is out uh, the Janet Marsh book it's um, oh, I can't remember what it's called but it's in my lazy Sunday uh, playlist Right, do I want anything else? I don't want any more green. Oh, I've got some brown here. No, save that. Save that. I wonder if I just having that's way too small. Having some. I shall do this with the art glitter. I'm um, just going to ink that edge because <coughs> it's very white where you rip it. This down. Just 
gonna do the middle bit and then just go around the edge. I think I'm about ready to fill my art glitter up. Oh, I've got an itchy eye. Oh. Ah, oh, that's that. Okay. Right. Lovely. Just chop that bit up and that bit. Yeah. Save that. That's that. Okay. And we want to save that. Can pop that away. What else have we got to do? Oh, we want a word, don't we? word or a label so let's have a look at what we've got let's leave that I'm just going to pause and drink my coffee okay we're looking for a word aren't we so these are the cards that I want them on so they're chipboard pieces from um the ephemera bit of the stamp area pad. Silence speaks when words can't. I like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that on there. What have we got here? Be original, be you. Listen to your heart. Oh, vegetation. Yeah, I'm going to have that. That's a Tracy Fox um, label, which I'm sure you perhaps know. Pump that. I'm not layering it on anything. I don't want um, the cards to be any bulkier. Than they are. Okay, let's ink around this. So I think I'll put the owl in the uh, fern cover one because we've got a squirrel at, at the front of the other one. So we'll put the fern one in that one. Oh, my ones. Let's have a look what these look like just with them, um, like a plain label on, I'm sure. I'm sure I've got some. It's a bit big. Well, I like that. It's a Tina Shabby Dabby Doodle one. I've got another one like that. Hmm, not as I can see what I thought. I thought I did have. Come on, back in, <laughs> back in your right tub. Oh, what's that one? Oh, no, it's, it's a number, though. Yeah, um, I'm guessing that's another Tina one, but it's a bit, a bit different, so I'm not sure, not sure if it is or, or not. I'll just pop them on. I think I will just put them in the top corner. Quite like them there, yeah. Let me put that on. Put it in front of me. Okay, what's that? I don't know, a little bit of acetate from somewhere. 
มันขายยักษ์ยักษ์ so I can put this away um I can't remember if I put some holes in or oh, did I did right so this is the fern one so we'll have the owl in here There should be plenty of of room. That's it. Okay, so that's the the I want. And we'll put the countryside one in the back, like so. So that goes around there. And we can just tie it yeah. here. Right, so I'm just going to cut that off. So that's that one finished. Then we've got this one, so we'll put the fern in, we'll just take those out. Oh, I've not put a hole in those. Oh, for a minute I thought it was upside down. <laughs> oh dear. Right, it's that about the middle, I think so. Yeah, that gave me a bit of a oh my goodness moment. Okay, so. Maybe this one's a little bit taller. How bizarre. To trim it, trim it down. See if this one fits. Oh, not gonna. Okay. Let's just try them um, the other way around. Still, still a little bit, so I will trim. Let's do it now, so I don't forget, and then I can get it <coughs> tied, tied up. So we'll just bring this out, and we'll take a little bit from the top. Hopefully, there'll be enough ink on this. Come on, and pop that in there like so. Okay, that's better. And then this one, the long one, obviously goes around. And no, that one, no. <laughs> You've obviously got to have it the opposite um, way. Right. Chop, 
some of that off. So that's that one. I'm wondering if they just want a little bit of lace down there. I think they do, don't they? So I shall do do that, um, and then that it will be in the the photos in in the thumbnail. So thank you very much for joining me uh, today. I hope you uh, enjoyed these. Uh, really nice to to make, and uh, yeah, make nice little. Uh, gifts or in your handbag or side of the telephone or side of your bed kind of um, little notebooks so that's it from me I shall see you tomorrow we're going to do some paper bag journals and like I say we'll do the um, tying it that way and I'll show you show you what I did okay bye for now